Hello, friends. It's Helena. We've all been seeing a lot of teasers of the Open Art Story Builder, and it's here. You've probably seen Erman's video yesterday. It's a thorough overview of the new feature, and Erman breaks down every single type of story that we can create in here. In this video, though, we'll dive into creating character vlogs specifically. This is a massive level up of the consistent characters you've been getting on Open Art. Now you can get storytelling videos by just typing in like a two-word prompt. This feature is best for light entertainment purposes. You can create a bunch of short-form videos super fast. Also, I have a special announcement at the end. Go to openart.ai and we see this brand new homepage. It might still change a little because I'm still on the testing version, but you get the idea. It's asking what we would like to create today. And we can come into the Story Builder page by clicking this one-click Story tab. Wow, that was really hard to say right. I said it like three times. Um, yeah, and we'll focus on the character vlog. Let's create. The first thing it's asking us to do is to pick our star. We have access to all our characters, like all the characters we've trained on OpenArt. And we have some character choices that are provided by OpenArt. Let's do one of the example characters. Teddy. And to show you how crazy simple it is, I'm not even going to try to come up with a prompt. Um, let's click gaming. We can choose the aspect ratio for it to be horizontal or vertical. We can choose different background music, leave it at auto select, and we'll talk about the advanced settings later, but we'll leave everything at default for now. And we can just click create story. Now it's creating. We can step away anytime and go do anything else. Um, and this generation will keep running in the background. While we wait, why don't we look at preview edit? So this is what we're going to get. Once the story is done, we'll be able to tweak things in a online video editor because we all know how unpredictable AI could be. It's both a charm and a curse. But don't worry, we've got you covered. It's done. Now, before we go into the tweaking, let's see what we got with just one shot. So as a one-shot video story, I didn't really care about because I didn't even put in like a good prompt. This was pretty entertaining. There are definitely things I want to change. For example, in this entire clip, I don't think there's anything about gaming really. And um, if we look at this clip, the controller is like stuck into like the PlayStation. Uh, some other funny uh, things are here. We have a PlayStation replica. It kind of looks like Xbox and PlayStation had a baby. So let's just look at how we can tweak some stuff. Once we're in the editor, let's pick a click that we're not really happy with. Let's say this clip where no gaming elements really showed up. We can look at the prompts of this clip. We have a video prompt and an image prompt. We'll probably want to just change the image prompt. I would keep all of the environment descriptions the same just to keep the entire video consistent. Let's make the bear look at a gaming screen. And now we can retry this image. I'm still not quite happy with it. I want the bear to look at the screen. So let me try to rewrite the prompt. Let's see. And now this is much better. We can use this image to generate a new video clip. Originally, I said the camera makes a subtle upward tilt as the subject tilts its head, conveying sudden surprise. Scratch that. The bear turns to look at the screen. The screen shows a shooting video game. Much better, much better. So on the left side, we have this panel. And the idea of this panel is, is our asset inventory. We can look at our video assets, our image assets. We can upload different music clips if we're not satisfied with the background music. And we can upload voiceovers for now. Uh, soon we should be able to generate voiceovers as well. The right side is the generation box. We can generate images and videos like we just did. 
and we can also adjust the speed and volume. And at the bottom, we get a video editing timeline. The clip that we weren't happy with is already swapped with this new clip. We can go over the timeline to see the story. And this was another clip I wasn't that happy with because the bear's really stationary and kind of just turned back into a toy. So I'll just delete that. And we can adjust the music to match with the videos. To look at our current story, we can either click play to let it run on the timeline or we can press preview and look at the video as a whole. See our new clip is in. The back clip is out. And once we're happy, we can just leave. We'll always have this project available here. If we want to make any extra tweaks, we can always click into it and edit the story. Let's create another one with my favorite demo character, Grogu. He's shopping. This time I'll pick a background music. Let's see, we can use a Suno music if we have the Suno music link, or we can upload our own soundtrack. We can also choose from one of the training songs. You can hear the music by hovering over each song. That's what we have. Let's take this chill easy. And then in the advanced settings, we get to select the image model and the video model. If we select character, we're generating the images from our trained characters, so it's usually higher quality. If we go to any of the other ones, um, Flux Context, all the GPTs, and Flux stuff, that's going to use only one image reference for your image generations. It usually still works pretty well, but if you have a trained character, might as well use that. And we can select different video models. They have their pros and cons. We have a lot of videos on the channel reviewing over each video model. So please do check it out if you're wondering. We'll stick to Clean 2.1 standard as it's pretty versatile. And let's create this story. Now the story is done, let's look at what we got. I really love how the orange flies to baby Yoda, like this is so accurate, it's like he's using the force. And I'm quite happy with the physics, it's like everything's kind of like looking like it's in space and it's like just floating, it has that force physics, you know, so I'm really happy with this video. Um, and I'm also really glad to see this like random little bot here. The only thing I would probably tweak is that baby Yoda's walking backwards here. So let's go into the editor. Find the weird clip on the timeline, click it, and let's see. It should be the video prompt that's wrong. Oh, so it's saying the subject walks away from the camera. That's like a little confusing. Let's just say the subject walks towards the camera. See if that fixed it. Amazing. So the thing I'm really happy about with this creation is there's logic to the chronological events that are happening. Baby Yoda walks in, Baby Yoda picks the fruits, uh, Baby Yoda goes to the cashier and pays, and then he walks out um, onto the street with a, a full grocery bag. And so there's a post for your social media page right there it's that simple. You could impress the kids in the family by turning their imagination into a visual story. You could visualize your favorite characters in different video settings. And if you run social media pages where you need a lot of content for a character, this is going to save you hours every day.
This might be the last time you'll see me on this channel for a long time. I've truly enjoyed every video with you, and thank you for 100k. I've just launched a new channel called Helena AI. Don't worry, you'll still find me talking about open art and even more. As you're watching this video, my other tutorial about the music video story type is also up. You'll see how I made this video that you're watching right now. Don't forget to check it out, link is in the description. There <coughs> might be extra generation credits there. Hey.